Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to bring you is a Bradford City versus Exeter City vlog now if you do go on to enjoy today's video please make sure you drop a like on it if you could try and hit 100 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when I upload and make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below what were your thoughts on today's match share the video around with your family and friends as well now today it's the fifth time this season we have played Exeter the second time in the league we haven't beaten them on the previous four occasions this season we usually do, do we usually do do quite well against Exeter at home so fingers crossed we can finally get one over on them pick up another three points it was a good win for us on Tuesday night against Stevenage so we need to back that up now we don't really have much room for error we need to be winning a lot of these remaining games it's the business end of the season I think there's 16 games to go including this one so it's another must win we have to win Exeter a great side though so in terms of a score prediction I do think it is going to be 2-1 to Exeter as much as we got the win on Tuesday uh, it, it was Alex Bass making three world-class saves that got us that win obviously I know we did a good team performance on the whole but it was pretty similar to how we played for the majority of this season I'm going 2-1 to Exeter though Andy Cook uh, Matt J and Sam Nombe to get the goals make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and I shall see you all at Valley Parade fair play to um, all the Exeter fans that have travelled up today I mean maybe I expected it a little bit more but maybe the way in the third styles fair play to those who have travelled come on City let's make it back to that win that and he wants to get warmed up. Yeah, he had a, he had a big old blow on his whistle. Who the hell, Jan? Oh, what a terrible ball, Lee. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, good save from that. Priest was a great ball. Probably should score. That's a great save from that.
substitutions for Bradford City in the Second change. And also the number 10 sponsored by Jackson Swiss Partners, Jamie Walker, be replaced by number 20 sponsored by Glenn Robinson. Unless he's injured. They look knackered, don't they? And why is he going off? He's hurting for the province of Auckland. He makes the bush up from the corner. And then off to the edge. Two with a shot. Oh! Yeah. Where's your bloody glasses? Substitution for Bradford City. Why has he played it to him there? Not a bit on ball, but it's like Brown hasn't tapped in. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I'll tap in open goal. This is not my wife. Open goal. Oh, why are you trying to do that? This is the sketch. That didn't come off, did it? Look how empty it is. We're losing by a goal. We've still time to play, it. and it's this empty. Disgrace. Full time. What did they expect? Before I get into my rant about how bad we were today, I just want to give credit to Exeter. They absolutely dominated us from minute one to 90. They bullied us off the park. Fair play to them. Their fans as well, they were pretty decent. Considering they didn't have, you know, it wasn't the most sold out of away ends, they were actually quite loud, so fair play to them for that. But us, we were just awful. Simply awful. It was a perfect opportunity to back up a, a decent win on Tuesday. Like I said, I don't think we were great on Tuesday, but we got the three points, so that was the main thing. It was a good opportunity for us today to prove that we can be consistent, and it was just terrible. We had one or two shots from range, and that were about it. We just didn't really offer anything, to be honest with you. It's another frustrating watch. Like I said, after we played the Rochdale game, for me, the season was over when we drew to Rochdale. There's just not enough consistency. There's not enough good enough players in this squad. If you think about the amount of signings we've had under Derek Adams, how many of them have actually been decent coops and who are actually available right now? Like the amount of injuries that we've got, Jamie Walker, don't get me wrong, he's fantastic when he plays and I really do rate him, but he's come off in pretty much every single match that he's played through injury or through fatigue and I was just then listening to Derek Adams' uh, post-match interview and wow, I mean, he's definitely a character to say the least. He's saying that he's the best manager we'll be able to get if we have a look at his track record for this level. So he's saying, basically, be careful what you wish for. You know, he was giving me Simon Grayson vibes when I was listening to it with how egotistical Simon Grayson was. I didn't think we'd be able to find a manager so egotistical and he did didn't really take blame for today's result, the tactics. I mean, he denied the fact we were playing hoofball apart from in the last 10 minutes. For the whole game, it was hoofball up to Andy Cook, who just got bullied by Exeter because they have five defenders and we play one striker up front at home. It was just absolutely terrible and I, I honestly don't really care anymore. I think the season is over. We've got to go again in the summer and it'll probably be again the same next summer. I don't think we'll sack him because Stefan don't want to put any money uh, into Bradford City anymore, does he? So he's not going to sack him to pay Adams off. And if we did, I mean, there is options out there, but I really do want Adams to succeed. Um, and I know you've got to be building a long-term project, but there's no signs of progression. There's no signs of what we could see for the future, especially not today. Without Charles Vernon, we genuinely do not offer anything, especially at home when Vernon does perform better. We just do not offer anything at all. Callum Cook sat on the bench for 75, 80 minutes. When he comes on, he, he gets the ball. He beats three or four players, and then he tries to play a pass out wide to Hendry. Sutton just gets in the way, and that pretty much sums up our day, to be honest. The goal we conceded. I mean, I thought as a whole we defended okay today, considering the quality quality extra we've got going forward with Giovanni Brown, Sam Nombe, Matt Jay, even Kieran Phillips who scored the goal and the, the free kick that they got for their goal, I mean it's definitely not a foul but we definitely cannot blame the referee today for our defeat. I thought it was shocking both ways at times but the, the foul is just never, not a foul, it's a shoulder barge from Levi Sutton and he gives it as a free kick. We defend the free kick, they win the ball back and then it's a ball put into the box, it's a great ball in, Bass doesn't know whether to come or go which he did a few times today. I don't know what it is about Alex Bass, but if it's not a Tuesday night away game, he suddenly turns into a prime Richard O'Donnell, which isn't ideal. But yeah, Kieran Phillips with a nice finish. I mean, maybe Songo could have cleared it off the line. I'm not really too sure. It looked like from my angle he was going to clear it, but then he just stopped and didn't get there. But it is what it is. It's another loss, and I'm not really bothered anymore, to be honest with you. That's where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, I'm sure there'll be a lot of Exeter fans watching this. So if you have enjoyed, which I'm sure you have done, make sure you drop a like on today's video if you could try and hit 100 likes on it. That'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already get your post notification bell as well so you never miss a video of when i upload and make sure as well to drop a comment in down in the comment section down below what were your thoughts on today's defeat share the video around with your family and friends as well have a great rest of your day thank you for watching and thankfully there's not gonna be a video for a couple of days because we're not playing on tuesday so thankfully we don't have to watch this for like another week i'll see you all next week for all them away peace